Welcome to Learning for Knowledge channel. We will continue the lectures in organic chemistry and today our topic is isomerism and its types. What is isomerism? The isomerism was first noticed in 1827 when a scientist Frederick Wooler prepared a compound known as cyanic acid and he noticed that although its elemental composition was similar with fermionic acid but its properties were quite different. Now this phenomena has changed the concept about the chemical compounds because it was thought that the chemicals with have different elemental composition are considered to be different from each other. But after revealing of this concept a new idea or new definition comes that molecules can have same elemental composition but still they will be different from each other. So this is called isomerism. Now how can we define in organic chemistry? Isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula but different physical and chemical properties are called isomers and this phenomena is called isomerism or molecule with same molecular formula but different structure or special arrangement of atoms are called isomers and this phenomenon is called isomerism. Very simple example is this compound this is C2H6O this represent both dimethyl ether and ethyl alcohol you can see this is the structural formula and this here is another this is ether and this is alcohol both are quite completely different compounds different behave in chemically and physically some of the physical properties like melting point and boiling point of this compound is different from this ethyl alcohol which have different melting point boiling point and due to this functional group their chemical properties also different so this is the isomerism there are two main types of isomerism one is structural or constitutional isomerism and other is stereo or special isomerism we will discuss this one by one now structural isomerism in structural isomerism the atoms and functional groups are joined together in different ways that is they have different arrangement of atom and have different positions but they have maybe their structural formula are also different but molecular formula are same so structural isomers have different IUPAC names and may or may not belong to same functional group for example butane it contains four carbon atom and it has two possible isomers decane which has 10 carbon has 75 isomers and a, and a simple hydrocarbon which contains 40 carbon atoms has an estimated of this much 62 billion types of structural isomers may be present or not but practically speaking they have they can be formulated in this numbers now structural isomers may be further classified in subtypes structural isomers Num number one chain isomerism positional positional isomerism functional isomerism ring chain isomerism metamerism tautomerism we will discuss this one by one first of all chain isomerism now chain isomerism are formed due to difference in the nature of the carbon skeleton that is carbon chain that is the main chain or backbone of the molecule has been changed so there will be a change in their structure so they become isomers 2 butane is very good example now there are four carbon atoms so this is butane here also four carbon atom so is butane but this is n butane because change is straight this is called n butane and now due to this branching this become isobutane similarly in n pentane five carbon atom in the backbone and when they are branched so this is called isopentane and now this is neopentane we can we can recall our previous lecture in which different types of carbons are present in a molecule so in this n pentane only primary and secondary carbon are present now due to presence of this tertiary this become iso and due to presence of this quaternary this become pentane so you can see although the number of carbon and hydrogen are same but their structure or their positions 
or backbone has been changed so this is called chain because chain isomerism because they have they are different on the basis of chain second type is ring chain isomerism this type of isomerism arises due to the open chain or closed chain structure for example this is c4h8 which is one butene now you can see this is a straight chain this is called one butene now if there is a some cyclic or ring formation occurs then the this compound completely change now this is called methyl cyclopropane there is no double bond you can say this is a complete change in functional group and this is cyclobutane this is butane but in this form this is butane and this is butene so functional group has been changed similar formula but different types third is position isomerism this isomerism have similar carbon skeleton but differ in the position of the attached atom or group are called position isomers you can see from this example now this is a carbon chain and this is a hydroxyl group attached at one position it is called one propanol now if this oh atoms or functional group change its position and now it become come on the second position so this become true propanol so this is where the functional group change their position or atoms change their position in the chain main chain then this is called position isomerism another example this is butene now double bond is present at first position so it is one butene now this is in this case double bond is present at second position so this is two butene so this is these are position isomers next type is functional isomerism the isomerism that have the same number of atoms arranged to form molecules but differ in their functional groups now are called functional group isomers this is a very simple example c2h6 when dimethyl ether and ethyl alcohol both have different functional groups same chemical formula but different functional groups so this is called functional group isomers another example c3h6o this is propanol aldehyde this is acetone become ketone and there is a alcohol so you can see that all these have changed in all these compound functional groups are changed so this is called functional group isomers next is metamerism isomers that have the same functional group but different alkyl groups attached to it are called metamers this is example now in this ether this is diethyl ether but here in this case methyl propyl ether and in this case pentane 2 on or pentane 3 on so here this is here methyl and propyl here diethyl we can also call this diethyl ether this is methyl ethyl ether or pentane 2 on or pent 10 3 on what this mean there is a change in functional group also occur so in this is the example which can also lie in the functional group isomerism as well as in metamerism next is tautomerism tautomers are structural isomer of the same chemical substance that can easily convert with each other and also exist in equilibrium they have they have different chemical properties and consequently dif, distinct chemical reaction characteristic basically this is the example when this acetone which is a ketone form is in converted into enol alcohol form what happen that this hydrogen change its position and come with this oxygen and become alcohol and this double bond now shift to this position and this will become enol so these two compounds are in equilibrium and they can also be isolated because this is alcohol this is ketone so they have different properties now this is another example pentane 2,4 diene and keto form or enol form here this oxygen will take this hydrogen and double bond shift in this position so this is enol this is called tautomerism second big category is stereo isomerism This type of isomerism arises in compounds having the same chemical formula 
but differ only in this special arrangement of constituents atoms in three dimensional space that is they have same functional group they have same position of atoms but only in three dimensional position they differ from each other in german stereos means solid that is a 3d projection that how we will project these compounds in three dimensional these are called stereo isomerism and stereo isomerism can be grouped categorized in two types one is geometric and other is optical so geometric isomers differ in this special arrangement about a double bond and optical isomer differ in the arrangement of atoms in 3d space which create mirror image of each other so geometric isomerism it is also known as cis trans isomerism these isomers have different special arrangement of atoms in three dimensional space this is these are the examples now you can see this is butene now in this case if we can see these methyl groups comes on one side and there is a possibility that this methyl group come on the other side and they are on opposite sides so there are two possibilities and this is around this double bond so when these two bulky groups or big groups are on one side this is called cis and when these are on opposite side this is called trans so this compound which is but 2 in is now become cis but 2 in and when these groups are on opposite side this become trans but 2 in now this is another example when this is a 12 dichloroethene now if both of these chlorine are on same side then this is called cis 12 dichloroethene and they are on opposite side then this is trans 12 dichloroethene so this is called geometric isomerism so now in the optical isomerism optical isomers are named like this because of their effect on plane polarized light you know the light has two plane or this is formed of electromagnetic radiation one is in one one type of radiation is one plane and other is on the perpendicular to this like electro in one plane and magnetic light is on other plane so in optical isomerism stereo isomers that are not superimposable on one another are known as optical isomers and the phenomena is called optical isomerism this phenomena can be explained better by looking in this example this is a imaginary mirror between these two black compounds this is on the right hand side this is we say this is a real compound and we are looking the image in this mirror when we look inside the mirror the things which is close to the mirror appear in the closest to that and the thing which is far appeared far in the mirror so this if we put this left hand side compound on this or try to superimpose on this it is not possible because the red side comes on this side and white on this side so red red molecule impose red atom impose on this white and white on this red so these are not non superimposable images so in optical isomerism similar bond but different special arrangement of atoms forming non superimposable mirror if a compound is non superimposable if its image is non superimposable then this is called optical isomerism if they are superimposed with on one another then this is not optical isomers optical isomers have the ability to rotate the plane of polarized light what this mean they can change the plane the plane which is coming in one plane it will change to other plane this property of molecule is called the optical activity the ability of a molecule to rotate the plane of a polarized light these optical isomers also known as enantiomers enantiomers differ from each other in their optical activities and if a molecule is superimposable on its mirror image it is optically inactive and of course they are not called as super isomers optical isomers what makes an isomer 
is the fact that mirror image and the original molecule are non superimposable this is a very good example this is a compound known as limonene if you look this is the mirror plane now this compound right side has a double bond on the left side and here this is a right side so if we will take this compound and try to put on this these two compounds will not superimpose on each other because this double bond which is present on the right come on the right side while in this compound this is on the left side similarly ch3 methyl group comes on the opposite sides so these are called r limonene s limonene the important thing which i want to explain here that there is no change in functional group no change in position only they are non superimposable that is they are optical isomers but their properties are quite different this compound which is r limonene is present in fresh citrus orange and it give orange like taste but this is the compound which is s limonene this is harsh turpentine like and lemon taste so only due to presence only due to optical isomerism their properties have been completely changed and when this compound is present this is a different type of fruit we get and when this type of compound is present we get a completely different type of thing this is called so these are the basics of isomerism thank you very much for listening and please subscribe you if you still not subscribe to our channel